Hello, I'm Donna Brighton, and today I am excited to share with you a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that is leadership. But not just any leadership. This isn't about somebody else's definition of leadership. This is about your leadership, specifically your leadership voice. You know, through the course of my career, I've had the opportunity to observe many leaders. And the thing that I have come to realize is that leaders can make people's lives miserable or magnificent. And that is my passion. How can we create more magnificence and less misery? Today, I'm going to share with you a bit about the story behind the book, The Rebel Leader's Field Guide to your leadership voice. I'm gonna walk you through the value and benefits that you will get from getting clear and strong in your leadership voice, tell you a bit about the 11 question assessment, and talk a bit about what is a leadership definition, specifically your leadership definition. So let's get started. Your leadership voice matters to you because when you clarify and strengthen your leadership voice, you will massively increase your influence and effectiveness. My hope for you is that you would get clear about your voice and then use it in a powerful and strong way to be a leader that brings out the magnificence in those around you. Before I share my leadership turning point, I'm curious about whether you perceive yourself as a leader. This has to do with your identity and what you believe about yourself. What I believe is that leadership is an action, not a position. So anyone has the potential to be a leader. I was going through a transition in my career and went back to school to get my master's in organizational leadership. In the course of my studies, I read many books and observed two things that made me very curious. The first thing I observed was that there's lots of different perspectives on leadership. We learned about charismatic leadership, transformational leadership, transactional leadership, servant leadership, and much more. I'm guessing you can probably fill in an additional labels that have been connected to leadership. I read the classical authors on leadership, Bennis, Bass, Rost, Spears, Tishy. McGregor, Burns, Cousas and Posner, and many more. Did you know there's over 90,000 books on leadership listed on Amazon? And there are many different definitions and labels for leadership. The second thing I noticed as I studied leadership and leaders specifically is that they come in all si sizes and shapes. There was not one exclusive type that qualified as a leader. Take these two people as an example. They accomplished similar results, but were completely different leaders. I'm saying they had radically different styles of leadership. If you weren't sure, the leaders I'm talking about are Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Both built technology companies but had completely different styles and completely different leadership approaches. They both exerted incredible influence and achieved lasting results, but was one better than the other? No, I'm not talking about your preference for Apple or Microsoft, simply recognizing that the leaders of these two companies had incredibly different approaches to leadership. That led me to my conclusion about leadership. You see, leadership is often talked about and defined in so many different ways. There's lots of different people who have incredible influence and are effective. But I realized that after decades of research and incredible amounts of discussion on the topic, there is no consistently adopted definition of leadership. This is because while there's some essential elements of leadership, like casting a vision, communicating, and so on, your leadership is as unique as your fingerprint. So if your leadership is unique to you, 
It's like you have your own unique voice. My question to you is how strong and how clear is your leadership voice? Let's take a look at clarity first. Leadership begins with clarity and it comes from the inside. If you know who you are, you can clearly represent your unique and authentic voice. When your leadership voice is clear, you are free from indistinctness, obscurity, or ambiguity. A clear voice is authentic to who you are and integrates all parts of you. The strength of your voice comes from external expression. It consists of your impact, your results, and your context. A strong voice is built on a congruent and clear expression of you. A strong voice is confident, wins people's respect, and creates impact through influence, balancing both relationship and results. In the Rebel Leaders Field Guide to Your Leadership Voice, there's a brief 11-question quiz that helps you consider the strength and clarity of your voice. Why this matters to you is that both dimensions, strength and clarity, are essential to leadership integrity. A leader who's out of alignment and does not attend to both dimensions risks disaster. So which quadrant do you find yourself in? And where would you like to be? In the book, I walk through the six actions to clarify and strengthen your leadership voice. Today, we're gonna to focus on the third action, which is knowing your leadership intent and definition. Have you ever stopped to consider how you define leadership? This isn't repeating the latest definition that you've read or the one you learned in the last leadership development program you attended. I'm talking about you personally. How do you define leadership? There are two key questions to consider in the third action of clarifying and strengthening your leadership voice. The first question is why? This gets at your intent and is a critical component to how you live out leadership. Most leaders I ask this question to have not actually paused to ever consider why they want to lead. Perhaps it's about moving to the next level in an organization. But, you know, once a leader's had a chance to think about it, the answer they most frequently give me is that they really want to help their team learn and grow. There's a missional component about what they want to do for others. The leadership intent matters because it informs your leadership approach. The next question to answer is what? What is leadership to you? How do you define leadership? A leadership definition is a personal statement expressing the essential nature of leadership for you. Here's some examples. My leadership purpose is to inspire and empower people so that they can accomplish their dreams and make the world a better place. I endeavor to spend every day focusing on how I can assist my colleagues to do more and achieve more. Another definition, I believe leadership is an influence relationship and I need to lead in such a way that my team chooses to follow. I live that out by encouraging my team to develop their strengths, focusing on what's working and reinforcing the future we are working together to accomplish so that the brilliance of everyone is reflected in our work. There's power in taking the time to answer these two questions. A strong, clear leadership voice will ensure that you get to your destination and remain true to yourself and what matters most to you. A CEO that I coach initially thought, eh, that's probably a waste of time. But he went through the process to get clear on his voice. Then, he encountered a tremendously challenging situation with his board. There was conflict, division, and 
because he had this definition in place, he was able to make decisions that were in alignment with that definition and his values. As he later reflected on the experience, he recognized the aligning power of a clear leadership definition. He said that it helped him to remain in integrity with himself, unlike a previous situation where he made a decision that he later regretted. Once you get clear on your leadership definition, then it's time to close the gap. Do your actions support your definition or are they eroding the trust and confidence of your team? The leadership definition that you create serves as your measuring stick to assess the gaps. Regularly review the definition that you've created so you can shrink the gap. I wrote this book because I believe in the power of leadership to make people's lives magnificent. And I believe that there isn't one right way to lead. You owe it to yourself to follow the six actions in the Rebel Leaders Field Guide to your leadership voice and define leadership for your unique, amazing, and gifted self. Every day that you are leading others, you're either closing the gap between your intention and leadership definition or widening it. My hope for you is that you give yourself and your team a gift of a clear, strong leadership voice. So in closing, I'd like to share the dedication of my book. To all the rebel leaders who don't worry about what everyone else is doing, who break out of the limiting beliefs and small thinking that could prevent them from realizing their full potential, who go beyond cookie cutter definitions of leadership to follow their vision, create their own path, and become the leader they were meant to be. This book is for you. So whether you read the book or simply pause and take a moment to reflect on your leadership intent and your leadership definition, my hope for you is that you would clarify and strengthen your leadership voice so that everybody would benefit from your unique voice and you would have an impact of magnificence on those around you.